Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm putting together a little box of sunshine, which is kind of like a care package that I'm going to mail to a family member who is going through a hard time right now. And so I have all kinds of yellow things that I'm gonna fill the box with so that when she opens it up, it will be like a box of sunshine. So I'm gonna show you all the different things that I have and then we're gonna start putting it together. Of course, the most important thing for any care package is actually having a box. So I picked one of these priority mailboxes up from the post office, which these are free to pick up. And then I took yellow construction paper and I cut it into rectangles that were just about the shape. They're a little wonky in a couple places, but it's not gonna matter once we fill it up. But with yellow construction paper so that when it gets opened, all of the yellow items plus the interior of the box will just shine and be exciting and yellow and sunshiny. So here are the different things that I went ahead and picked up for this project. Obviously you could tailor this to the recipient's tastes and you could choose a variety of different things. Clearly the idea is that everything is yellow or has a lot of yellow in it. So I picked up this honey vanilla chamomile tea. I have three lemon Tootsie Pops. These are both from the grocery store. The, this little Hello Sunshine little book of happy, I thought it was super cute because it said sunshine on it, but also throughout it, it's just really, really cute. There's some really adorable little pages in it, so I thought that that was a nice thing. This is from Amazon. I will link it below. I got some lemon Luna bars. Got that from the grocery store. I got a Caldrea candle in the Sea Salt Neroli, which I got from Grove Collaborative, so I'll link that below as well. I got some yellow mascara. I thought that was a fun thing to get. That's yellow. And that I got from the grocery store. I wrote a little note to the recipient and wrote sending sunshine on the front. So that will go on the very top of the package. I got this really charming yellow pen and this is from Amazon. I thought this would be really cute as a part of the gift, something a little different. This mug is my favorite thing out of all of these different items. On the inside, it is bright yellow, and on the outside, it says, you are my sunshine on one side, and then on the other side, it says, love you to the moon and back, and I think it is so precious. I absolutely love it, and there's a little sunshine here on the handle. This is from Amazon, so I will link that below, and I saved the box to put it in the box so that for safekeeping and safe travels. I got some peanut M&Ms, from the grocery store, some of this salsa because it had a bright yellow label and also this is good salsa from the grocery store. I got some Method Lemon Mint Hand Soap. This is from Grove Collaborative. Some Tiny Twists. This is from the grocery store. Post-it notes is from the grocery store as well in bright yellow and then a couple of little, they're kind of more orangey but they, have the, they go well enough. Some little milk duds from the grocery store. So those are all of the different items that I'm going to put into the box. And then over here, I saved some packaging that I've, I've gotten different things in the mail. I order a lot online. So I saved some packaging to use to keep these things safe. I saved the box from the mug just to make sure that that gets arrived safely. I have some yellow tissue paper, some golden ribbon to tie around things and make them look even more festive, some scissors, to use for packaging and some tape to use for packaging. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this camera up on a tripod and just start slowly adding things into the box and use the packaging and things like that. This is going to someone across the country. If it wasn't going to someone across the country, I would, it would be a lot cuter to get a basket. If, of course, a yellow basket would be super cute and you could put all of these things out. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to wrap up like the mug and the glass salsa jar and the candle because I obviously, obviously don't want those to get broken, but you could totally do this for someone local and you wouldn't have to do go through the extra step of all the packaging materials. All right, so I have my sunshiny yellow box here and I'm gonna start filling it up. So the first thing I'm gonna add in Oops, are the Luna bars because they are not fragile. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put those here in the corner. Another thing that's not fragile is the honey vanilla chamomile tea. This is going to be a little bit like Tetris, I think, to get everything in here safely. Now I'm going to go ahead and take this box that the mug came in and put it back in here.
There we go. And I think what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this in yellow tissue paper because if I just stick this in here, it's like everything's yellow and then there's a brown box. So I'm gonna quickly wrap this in yellow tissue paper. Okay, I went ahead and wrapped the mug and so this looks super cute. It has some little gold ribbon on the top and I just wrapped it in the yellow tissue paper. Of course, if you had yellow wrapping paper, that would be even better, but I don't, so we're working with what we have. So that's gonna go ahead into the corner here. All right, I've added just a little bit of bubble wrap in here. I'm probably gonna add some more as I go just to make sure everything's nice and secure. Also, the tighter the package is, meaning the less wiggle room your items have, the less likely they are to break. So even if you have several breakable items, if you have lots of bubble wrap so that the package is nice and packed tightly, it will work out a lot better. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take this salsa and I'm gonna put it in a clear plastic bag because if it leaked, or cracked and it ruined everything, that would be no fun. So I'm gonna keep it in a bag and then I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up in bubble wrap. Okay, so I wrapped the salsa all the way up. Again, clearly it would be much cuter in a, a gift basket in person, but obviously there's still a yellow label and this salsa is still delicious, so I am still gonna send it. I'm gonna put that in this little corner where it's nice and safe. I'll have to play around with the placement of these a little bit more. We'll see how, how we're gonna do this. Okay, the final fragile item is this candle, but this is very well packaged. So I don't know that I need to excessively wrap it up. I think sort of like the mug, I could do it like that. So I need to get a little bit more bubble wrap for the bottom, let me go and do that. Okay, that's perfect. So the candle's kind of wedged here in between the mug box and then the little Luna bar box. So it is not going anywhere. I actually had to kind of shove the Luna bar box in there. So that worked out really well. For now, we'll put the post-its up here. We have the peanut M&Ms. So I'll just put those down here. We'll have to move some things around. As I've said, let's put this right here that's a that looks nice let's put the pen in here that also helps hold the salsa in place and the mascara and we have the pretzels over there some milk duds in here some yellow Tootsie Pops. And then the last thing is the Hello Sunshine book. Ooh, and that will fit perfectly right there. Then what I think I'm gonna do is put, oh gosh, I forgot about this. Okay, hang on. So let's rethink this. So here is the box finished. So as I said, I will close it up. And then I'm gonna tape this nice and tight closed. So from the outside, it just looks like any normal package. But then when it gets opened up, it's like, why is the box yellow? And then you continue to open it. And then there's a note right at the top that the recipient can read and then she'll lift this up and see a whole big box full of yellow fun things. So I think this is such a cute and fun gift, especially if you know someone who is going through a difficult time. I think it's easy. You can do it really inexpensively. Like I said, I'll link all the different things that I purchased off of Amazon below. I got a few really nice things. Got the little book, I got the mug, the pen off of Amazon. Um, but you could do this in an afternoon, just pop over to like the dollar store or to your local Target or Walmart, your grocery store, and just walk through the aisles and find some yellow things, throw them in a box. You don't even have to do the lining. I think that it adds some fun to do um, the lining like this with a construction paper, but you don't even have to do that. And then just throw in a little note. You could do a small box, you could do a bigger box than this. 
So I hope you enjoyed this video. I would love if you would give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and let me know if you've ever sent a box of sunshine or if you are going to now send a box of sunshine to someone who could use it. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys next time.